two men suspected of preying on people in a crime spree are now off the streets. Police believe they pulled off a string of crimes in Detroit in just 90 minutes. 7 News reporter Kimberly Craig has a look at what they're accused of doing. We're at the corner of Wyoming and Chicago near where two of the victims were targeted. The first woman was targeted outside Drew Transition Center and then across the street the men found their next target. Certainly it could have gone worse had we not had uh, the, the ability to get them off the street. Investigators with the Detroit Police Commercial Auto Theft Unit being praised for getting two dangerous men off the street. The two suspects believed to be responsible for a series of crimes yesterday morning, two of them taking place outside schools on the city's west side. Oh, that's, that's good. They got them. They're doing a good job. And I tip my hat off to them. The crimes linked to the men began at Rutland and Plymouth yesterday morning around 830, where they tried to carjack a 64 year old man. 45 minutes later, outside Detroit Public Schools Drew Transition Center at Wyoming and Chicago, the suspects drove up to a woman in the parking lot and at gunpoint demanded her purse. Then at 940, the men allegedly went across the street to McKenzie Elementary Middle School and carjacked a woman who was sitting in her car on the phone. And then at 10 a.m. at a shopping plaza on Joy Road near Robeson. A man walking to his car was robbed at gunpoint. Police nabbed the suspects a short time later. We saw them go by the one of the carjack vehicles. They rolled by, looked inside. So we stopped the vehicle that they were in and was arrested. Right now, Detroit police have a 28 year old man and a 31 year old man under arrest, but they say their investigation is ongoing. On Detroit's west side, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.